Hey, I'm Matt. I created Project.co over 10 years ago to make managing projects for my agency easier. It connects every person on our team with our clients so we can all collaborate together in one place. This means each person knows what tasks they need to do each day, our clients know when things are going to be delivered, and managers can schedule work effectively. It's been the backbone of my business and I want to help you make it the backbone of your business too. So in this video, I'm gonna give you a quick demo of how it works. It all starts with a project. Invite your team. This could be people from your business, your clients, suppliers, or friends. Then add the right tools for the job. A discussion so you can all chat and move things forward. Tasks so everyone knows what needs to be done, when and by who. Files so you have everything in one place. Notes so you can keep track of the most important information and embed the other tools you use so you can all collaborate together. Take payments along the way so money doesn't hold things up. Track time so you can see where things have been done. Set up your own workflows with project and task statuses so you know where each project and task is up to. And set up custom fields to track the data that's important to you. Then get a bird's eye view of your team's projects in multiple views so you can manage your whole business with just a few clicks. Project.co is the best way to manage any project. So create your free account today and get in touch if you have any questions along the way. The Collaborator and Collaborator Plus role are commonly assigned to clients, and the question we often get asked is, what can clients see? So in this video, I'm gonna show you around an account while I'm logged in with both different role types. Okay, so I'm currently logged into our demo account with a Collaborator role. The first thing to point out is that the templates and time cards are missing from the welcome page. This is because people with both Collaborator roles can't see templates or time. If we look at the options button, you'll see there's no access to account settings or integrations. Both collaborator roles simply have access to their own user settings, the help center and a logout link. The create new button at the top right of every page also has fewer options for collaborators. They can invite people or upload files. They can't create projects, templates, tasks, groups, payment or time entries. If we look at the invite people page, you'll also notice it has fewer options. Collaborators can't define roles or groups for the people they invite. For anyone that a collaborator invites, the role is always set to collaborator. And the group is always set to the same group as the person that invited them. This means that invited users will always have the lowest role type and they'll always be part of the same group as the person that invited them. If we go back to the welcome page and then into projects, you'll see that collaborators only have access to the projects they're invited to. They can filter, group, and sort the data that shows in their views, but they don't have access to the Create New button that shows for creator roles. When they open a project, they'll see the information, but they won't be able to edit it. So they can see the images at the top, but they can't edit them, as well as all project data points and the description. They also can't add or remove people, or add or remove tools. They also can't see the notes and time tools. These are hidden from both collaborator roles. Collaborators do have full access to the discussion tool where they can chat and share files. They can also view files and upload new files using the files tool. They can view and make payments in the payments tool, but they can't create new payment requests. They can open single embeds, embeds in the embed tool, or they can add new embeds. Then we come to the tasks tool. Both Collaborator and Collaborator Plus can only see tasks that have the privacy setting of being visible to creators and collaborators. If you set a task privacy to visible to creators only, then both collaborator roles won't be able to see it. However, opening and editing tasks is where the Collaborator and Collaborator Plus roles are different. Collaborators can see tasks in a list view or calendar view, but they can't open them. When they click on tasks, nothing happens. This means that people with a collaborator role can see tasks that are due to be done and their due date, but they can't open or edit them. This is great for when you have tasks that you want your clients to be aware of, such as deliverable dates. If we switch our login to a collaborator plus role, you'll see that when they click on a task, they can open and edit any of its data. So this means that the collaborator plus role is great for when you want the users to be able to edit tasks. 
However, bear in mind that they still can't create new tasks. They can only edit existing tasks. This is great for when you want to assign tasks to clients and have them edit the due date or status when they're done. Okay, so if we switch our login back to the collaborator role, we can go back to the welcome page. We've explored projects as a collaborator, and we've also seen how tasks work within projects for collaborator and collaborator plus roles. If we go back to the main tasks page as a collaborator, you'll see that they can also see tasks across all projects they have access to. This is useful when you have multiple projects with a client and you want them to be able to see when all the deliverable dates are. If we go to the people tool, you'll see that collaborators can only see people from their groups. This restricts the people that they can see within the system to people within their group and the people that are on projects that they have also been invited to. As we discussed before, collaborators can invite people from their own team to your account, but they will always be given a collaborator role and they'll be assigned to the same group as the person that invited them. Collaborators can also only see their group in the groups tool and they can't create new groups. If we go to the files page, then you'll see that collaborators can see all files, but only on projects they've been invited to. They do also have access to upload new files to projects they're part of. Finally, payments. Collaborators can see payments that have been added to the projects they're part of. Like all main pages, this gives them a full view of all payments on projects they're part of. However, they can't create new payments. Collaborators can save views on pages if they'd like to. They can also star pages and go back to them at any time. And they also have access to the notification inbox so that they can view and respond to all notifications they receive in their account. So that's what things look like for a collaborator and a collaborator plus role. It's a stripped down view which gives them access to the projects that they're part of, but doesn't give them the ability to create new things within your account. Every person you invite to your project.co account will be assigned a role. This is set at the point people are invited to your account and the role determines what the person's permissions are within your account and will essentially define what they can see and do. Firstly, we have two different role types, creators and collaborators. Creators can create things like projects and tasks within the account. This role type is ideal for people who create and manage work. So it's ideal for people who are part of your internal team. Collaborators, on the other hand, can't create new things, but they can collaborate on projects. So this role type is ideal for clients, freelancers and external people who you want to work with on some projects. Within these two types, we have the roles that you can assign to people you invite to your account. So let's start with the lowest and we'll work up. Firstly, collaborator. Collaborators can collaborate in discussions, see the due date of tasks and invite other people from their team. They can't edit tasks or view notes and they can only see projects they're invited to. The next role up is Collaborator Plus. This role is ideal for clients or freelancers who need more control. So in addition to the Collaborator role, they can also open and edit tasks. This is a small difference, but it means you have control over a collaborator's ability to simply view tasks with the Collaborator role or open and edit tasks with the Collaborator Plus role. Then we have the Creator roles. The most basic role is creator. This will be ideally suited to most members of your team. Creators can see all task views, create and edit tasks, view all account level projects, invite and edit people, use templates, view and create time entries, and view and create payments. Then we have creator plus. This is ideally suited to members of your team who need more control. So in addition to the creator role, they can also create and manage custom fields, create and edit templates, create and delete groups, edit allocated time and delete time entries, and delete payments. Essentially, people with a creator plus role can do everything in the account except access the account settings. Finally, the creator admin role is for account administrators. In addition to the Creator Plus role, they can also view and edit all account settings. This includes setting account level custom fields. For more information about what clients can see within your account, view the What Can Clients See video. And I'm going to show you a, a run through of an account using a Collaborator role and a Collaborator Plus role so you can see exactly what they say.